The following video you're about to see is an altar call being done for children. It appears to be from Hillsong's church in Australia, although I could be mistaken. Basically, they're encouraging the children who are seeing this uh, in, in a very enthusiastic manner to make a decision for Jesus Christ as uh, their personal Lord and Savior. And if you were to judge this by the scriptures, you would see that this isn't the gospel at all, that this is nothing short of a decisional regeneration, uh, which is uh, basically taking Jesus as a flu shot. But even more than that, it's uh, being done completely out of uh, an emotion, uh, as they, they purposely talk in such an enthusiastic manner, and children are uh, easily influenced, easily want to do uh, what seems exciting. And so they'd be easily led to do this without uh, understanding at all. And very few who would participate in this uh, would understand what they're actually doing. And I doubt that they understand that they're sinners deserving of hell and uh, need to repent and believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. That he died for their sins according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again. I doubt uh, they understand any of that at all. And it's just encouraging them with a terrible theology in the way they word it uh, to accept Jesus. Nor is there any instance of getting someone to repeat a prayer in the entire scriptures. Uh, in the New Testament, it comes from the heart. If someone is truly uh, downcast in their sins, uh, you know, the, as in one example, it says, Lord, be merciful to be a sinner. That comes from the heart, not someone pressuring or encouraging them to do so. And so, uh, this is just completely uh, unbiblical, what you're about to see, and it would be uh, the sinner's prayer, the altar call, a movement to an extreme, and this is heresy. And if you're a Bible believer, you should oppose this as well and be aware of it so you can warn others of the dangers. Uh, so judge by the Scriptures. Amen. Hey kids, this is fantastic. I love seeing children give their life to Jesus. I'm so proud of you. You made the decision to come to Jesus. This is fantastic. Now what we're going to do is pray a prayer. And I want you to pray it from your heart with everything that you have and God will change your life. Get ready. I'll pray one line and then I want you to repeat that after me. And I need everybody to pray this prayer with me. All the leaders and all the children in a big loud voice. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you in prayer. I am sorry for all the wrong things that I have done. I believe that You are the Son of God. And I believe that You died on the cross to set me free. And now I invite You into my life. Come live inside of me. Change me. I love You. And I always will. From now on, you are my Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Let's give these people a huge clap. How fantastic. We're so proud of you. Your leaders are so proud of you, giving your life to Jesus. This is the best day ever. The Bible actually says that angels celebrate when a sinner comes to God, when someone who's been doing the wrong thing comes to Jesus. They love it. And Jesus loves it too.